All right, so this demo is for working with the Duralar material. Now, when you're doing this, you can use pretty much anything you want. You know, pen, pencil, colored pencils, charcoal, even paint. All of these things work out pretty well when using the Duralar. It is a little bit different to draw with than regular paper just because of the smoothness of everything. So, you know, if you're drawing with regular pencil here, you know, a lot of this part is pretty much the same as what you would draw with regular pencil. Um, like I said, you could draw with pen. Everything just kind of glides on pretty smoothly. Um, just be careful, you know, with pens, it takes a while for it to, to dry. So just be careful with your hand as you're, as you're working because it might smudge. You know, this one up here in the corner, I did it a few minutes ago and it's still, yeah, that pretty much rubs right off. So give it quite a while to dry. In fact, I would say probably it'd be best not to use the pins just so that we don't have any accidents with uh, you losing some of your drawings. You know, with the pencil, everything holds up pretty well um, as you go. With charcoal, charcoal's kind of nice with the Duralar because of how smooth it is. It allows you to do some really nice blending. You can make it a lot Kind of smoother and a lot more gradual than what it is with uh, on the on the paper. So that's one option as as you go. You know, with color, you have the ability to use both sides of the paper. So you can see everything you've drawn from both sides. If you're drawing or coloring on the back side, it's gonna be a little bit more dull, a little bit more muted than if it was on the other side. But just kind of for comparison's sake. colors here you can really tell the difference between the the vibrancy of the colors on the front side versus the colors on the back side so keep that in consideration as you're drawing you know if it's something that is you know further away in the background you might use color on the on the back side to try to show things getting further back into space. Um, again, like I also said, you have the option. I'm drop my paintbrush. You have the option of painting it as well. And it would work just like painting Anything else? You know, if you do that, I have the acrylic paints here in the classroom. And again, you, know, you have the front side. Can't set this down the way because it's not dry. Versus color showing up on the back side. So. Overall, I would say that using just regular pencil and colored pencils is probably going to be the easiest, but if you want to get experimental with this, then by all means, see what you can do.